We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. It's Jacobs to start the drive. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Play fake. Garoppolo. Rush coming and he's taken down. Nolan Smith from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. But just two plays in and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down. And that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback too. Here we go, here so we go. the sack of Garoppolo. And now what can they come up with on third and long? 13, 13. Looking to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game, and on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Robert Spillane, the linebacker there on the tackle. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Throwing his hurts. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down.
So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And this has no chance. It's no good well. Wide to the left, and this will remain a scoreless game. So what a let off there. You figure that was an easy three points. Instead, it turns into nothing. And from that close of range, if you start it left, your goose is cooked. And this thing, well, it never had a chance to straighten itself out. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. On second down, Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Third and three. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Now remember they were unsuccessful earlier in this first quarter. Going for it on fourth. They're going to try a second time. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Raiders first down. So signals the referee as they're going to convert by about a yard there on fourth and five. Big conversion. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A big pickup of 38. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. On play action, now Garoppolo. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And now a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. On second down, here's Garoppolo. He hits Adams complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. We're scoreless after one. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two as they go to work on a first and goal. Jacobs going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Jacobs again. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs taking it in from a yard out. And the Raiders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Ah, oh, what a luxury it is to be able to call on a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line. 5'10", 220 pounds, and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards. He finishes off this drive with a touchdown run. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter.
Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, well, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside for it. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen in teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, right, right, let him right, use right. his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and six. Play action. Here's Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. A big play there for Philly. 52 yards. I can still hear it reverberate through this thick skull of mine. Crossing routes versus man-to-man -man coverage, it's a bad matchup for the defense. Those tend to work very well as they run away from the defender. Here's Swift. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Now that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Hurt sets up to throw it. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Swift. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Flush to his right. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. 
They try to throw on fourth and goal from the two, and the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Here we go. Now a second and ten. In his own end zone, it's Garoppolo. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. And they approach this drop in a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has him huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. From his end zone, Garoppolo on third and long. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. And this one too low. That play looked off right from the beginning because I think he hurt himself a little bit. And he ended up making the throw short of the back on the screen attempt. It falls incomplete. Here's second and ten. 65, 65. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Garoppolo now, first down throw. That is incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Second and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they say it's incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. First a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. That is caught. Cool. And he is going to have a Raiders first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. Here we go. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And it's complete to Adams. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. 
Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Garoppolo. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw is a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. To throw is Garoppolo. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, he's been down the hatch his time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think of the time battle about the Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. How you like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you? The Eagles' offense sent to begin their next drive. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Right back to Swift again on second down. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 69 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it go off. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven.
separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. On first down, Garoppolo steps away to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 14 yards is the pick up there at a Raider first. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And they're going to face a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. to throw. It's Garoppolo. And this is going to be incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll take the block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer. He just dropped the pass. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Throwing is Hurts. Got a man. It's Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. He'll get this off to Swift. 
And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. Second down and six now. Here's Hurts to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watkins. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 29-yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On first and 10, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Ball on the 27. Here's second down and eight. Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Hurt sets up to throw it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Swift going to try up the middle. He takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here's a second and seven. Second down. Here's Hurts. Jalen Hurts, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Not wrong to understand where your escape hatches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Elliott Gunn with a PAT. Makes the score 14 to 7. Now, after.
after the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here's first and ten. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. The open man here, Renfro. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Back to throw, Garoppolo. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Garoppolo to throw. He has Mayer complete. Short game, short game. Last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense are saying go right ahead with those. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. When you see zone defense and you know you got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Palmer, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Bill Bison, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Eagles are likely going to win it. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL.